everyone this is Manny of the Waste with another Fallout 4 tutorial so today I'm gonna to be talking about the best places to buy wood so we're in Diamond City Market and we're gonna start by talking to our man Mo Diamond City's greatest baseball collector. <laughs> Good to see honestly I was really stupid at the beginning. I, I didn't even put two and two together. He sells baseball bats. Yeah, no. Why why would he not sell wood? Pieces of wood? A swatter is Thanks. Sure. Let's take a look. Handmade. Yeah, those swatters had to be made out of something. And as you see, he sells shipments of wood in a hundred and I have both ranks of cap collector and intelligence. Or I'm sorry, charisma eight. So mm, it's pretty cheap. It'd be about 500 base. Anyway, so you buy from Mo. Okay. Now, you're probably like, what am I going to do with 100 wood? Well, prepare to sit for a while. And so what you're going to do is you're going to wait 24 hours. So how's the weather? How's everybody been doing? Normally what I'd do is I'd come here and I'd just wait around, try to get me about two to three hundred wood. And it's not a lot of wood, but then at the same time it still is wood. And sometimes you get lucky and he'll sell you uh, bulk shipments. So really it just comes down to the waiting. So you're going to wait another 24. How's everybody doing? Good, I hope. I was doing this with Connie, but there are other places you can get wood. There are places out in the wasteland that you can go and get wood, and we'll go check those out in a minute. But this is primarily how I would get my wood. I just sit around, wait, buy a shipment, wait, buy a shipment. And then what you have to understand is that with be being wood... City. Wood is harder to find than metal in the wasteland, which I don't really understand because there's trees everywhere and they really should let you scrap that stuff. But anyways, what you're probably going to want to do, and if you've never noticed by watching all my building videos, I use a lot of metal and that's because metal is just easier to get. And so we'll go back to Mo. Right. I'll take a look. Get my championship baseball. Yep, and then there you go, we got another hundred. Whatever it is, leave me out. And then we would slowly repeat the process over and over again. So, another thing that you can do is you can come over here. Everything. But none of it is scrap. I'll and you look. can shop with her. And what I used to do with Marina is every time that I'd come and buy ammo and I'm selling off, I'd come over here and sell off some of the weapons that I was holding as well. And then you would come over here and then just buy up whatever it is you need. Because, you know, she'll have baseballs, she'll have bats, nuclear materials. And then you just really just go to town on Myrna and buy what you need. The problem with being like carry weight and things like that. But, you know, you could always, uh, yeah, we probably could. You could always come over here and carry pop a buff out and then head on to your mission. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to wait for wood, I'm going to show you another couple of stores that we can go to. So, another place you can come to buy wood in stacks of 50 is Abernathy Farms. You have to find Connie Abernathy, but she'll go on ahead and sell them to you in the two days. So, if you're fine with the loading screens which I really just got fine with the loading screens I upgraded my RAM but no, that's here he, neither here nor problem. there <clears throat> I take it you want to trade that would be great okay so and you see she sells them so you can come buy one from her and then there's one more place we can go to buy shipments of wood so I'll meet you guys over there so we're in Grey Garden, and I believe it's uh, Inspector Green that will sell you. Brown. 
Okay, so it's not brown. Yeah, I do believe it's green. Hello, That's white. Some <laughs> Mr. Handy. Green, are you in the fields? It's Mr. Handy. Wow, there look he at is. This, folks. We've got a special guest. What's up with you, Supervisor Green? Green? Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? Sounds yeah. Good. Okay. I've never shopped with him. Anyways, you can go ahead and buy wood from him as well. Okay, so... <laughs> so, now that I've talked about where you can buy wood, I'm going to talk about how you get wood in the beginning okay so this is gonna, this is primarily how it worked with my settlements I was going get settlements for wood so at one point I ran out of wood totally and then I stripped all settlements that I owned and ran out of wood and that was really bad so what we started doing was accepting the Preston missions going to the settlement taking all their wood and replacing it with metal structures that use very little wood and because of that I really started coming on tops but even that wasn't enough so then I started putting in the rounds of buying wood and things like that so that's pretty much my main tactic is that you would want to capture settlements take their wood and then replace them with metal structures okay so now I'm gonna take you to a couple of places where you can get wood naturally by junk and then you just toss it into your workshop so we're in the bowling alley of the General Atomics Galleria it's about southeast of Outpost Samoya and basically what you want to do up oh, bowling balls got lead in them so if you want to do some lead lining there you go but all these bowling pins have wood in them and then you just go through here and get what you can not all are accessible so these were the men who doomed the world and then this place will refresh every 48 hours so what you can do is get into some type of champions run where you hit Mo in Diamond City and then you go to both the settlements and then you come over here then you wait two days and then run it again and then wait two days and run it again and you'll have a lot of wood and you'll get a lot of adventure on the way so there's a there's one more place that I need to tell everybody about where to get wood so I'll meet you there the last place and the largest settlement with the most wood is Spectacle Island. It's located in the southeast of the map, sitting on its own little island right here. And this is where my mansion is and all that cool stuff. And originally when I came over here, it was for the wood. <laughs> I needed it real bad. And then I decided to keep a good you? bit of the wood just because, you know, it was aesthetically pleasing. But if you look around, there's uh, all types of stuff like that that could go. There's also things called blasted logs. And then plus you're going to have to clear space for your structure. So this is a really good place to come and get some wood. It's fairly in-game because you have to defeat a Mylar Queen to get this place. But all of this place was filled with wood all of it all of that was filled with wood and I had enough wood to really start expanding my settlements I did run out eventually again though and then that's when I just started buying it so for recap what you want to do is you want to go to Mo in Diamond City Market every 48 hours he sells a hundred wood you can also go to Connie and Abernathy Farms. She sells 50. And Grey Garden also sells 50. There's the General Atomics Galleria. The bowling pins, they give wood. And then also Spectacle Island. But more importantly, remember a aggressive settlement expansion. So what you want to do is you want to go out, get settlements, take their wood, and then in turn, give them metal structures. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Hope this helps you guys get some wood in Fallout 4. Giggity.
like share subscribe stay tuned for more fallout 4 vids take care